Victoria again. Our beloved school president, Mrs. Malago Pierdigan. Dr. Ilago, our consultant. Mr. Jesus Bia Pepe, our school principal. Parents, teachers, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today marks the most significant day in our lives. So far as we are celebrating the momentous event of success and victory. Over the years of perseverance and determination, frustration and failure. As I reminisce while writing this speech, I could remember all our struggles as different challenges passing our way, from sleepless nights of schoolwork, to tiring days of filmmaking, to cheer dancing and street dancing, to monthly class contests and activities, to the variety show, and to a lot more. We may have encountered a lot of difficulties, but then, here we are, proudly sitting and standing as graduates, finally. Before I've learned that I'm going to be the one who will deliver the benedictory address, my two respectable teachers simply gave me a piece of paper with the theme, The Graduate, a partner towards transformational society and answer to societal change. In my mind, I nervously thought, just what is this about? Another essay writing contest to join in? But then, my teacher extended her hand and said, congratulations. Wow, with that, I understood. Everything I have worked hard on was all worth it after all. For I am here, delightful and privileged. For I have been given the chance to deliver this message to you. No, I think I would say everything that we all have worked hard on way back four years ago as one class, one team, one family was all worth it after all. And that is what the fruit of education here in our dear alma mater brings. This institution has given us countless opportunities, improving our potentials and capabilities, and learning experiences that have taught us to be the best that we can be. The training and the knowledge that our alma mater has afforded us will serve us in good stead as we are about to enter a bigger world of learning which is college time. Now that we are high school graduates, we are facing a great challenge of responding to a call for a change. But how can we become agents of change? The answer is simple. It is education. Being young and educated people, we are saddled with responsibilities. Now, some of us might say that this responsibility of changing the society should only be put on the shoulders of those who have medals and awards. No, I totally disagree. Being a valedictorian, I may have the highest awards, but honestly, this does not really count. What counts most is that each one of us here holds a responsibility of advocating and enacting transformation. And we all should use our potential and talents to make this possible. Each one of us serves as a catalyst in providing welfare for our societal change to become productive and useful citizens. We can do this in our own simple way, like choosing our degree or course wisely, studying well in college, living with simplicity and integrity, or even by making our dreams for real. It may be that not all of us have looked forward for, to this day, for this day marks the farewell of a lot of things that we know have made us young, innocent, carefree, and insecure, lucky people. But I know we all cannot wait to step out, start the beginning of another chapter of our lives, and walk confident 
directly to the future as we reach out to our dreams. And this is it. Our investment to societal change is our dream. Each one of us has a dream to come true. A dream that might give us an opportunity as we journey through life. I would like to ask you, what is your dream? I know we're quite certain that some of my classmates have the wildest dreams. Me? I honestly dream to become a doctor and an astronaut. Time may come that we would have nothing to hold on to but our dreams. This may seem sound realistically out of the theme, but being happy with our dreams gives us the chance to be passionate. Who knows? I might be the very first Filipina to research on alteration of human self on outer space. If we are passionate, we can dare to dream of some way to resolve our national problems and address global issues. There is wisdom to that familiar saying which runs the Success is by choice, not by chance. It will always be for us to choose whether to make it real, fail and commit mistakes, strive harder, and succeed. I know we will all miss our old school uniforms and white socks. The one learning experience that in our classrooms with our dear teachers. The childish games we play like Bao Baho, Iko Iko, and Tago Tagoan. The cheers and chants we yell during the intramural. The crazy afternoons on the crazy on the white and green fields. The songs we used to sing like Drinking for Eleven, State of Mind, and Born This Way. The sirok and shout moments together. The kilig moments with our high school crushes and love scenes. The catchy pick up lines and expressions like I depend, I hope I'm strong, I'm struggle, I'm face, earth, but I live. And all the trash talking. But there will always be an end to everything. No matter how much we want the time to slow down so we can still linger on these things and stay as high school students, life goes on. We just have to accept that we still have to go beyond the horizons of high school so we could prepare ourselves for the real world out there. We may all be nervous because we do not know what to expect, but we have our dreams and efforts after all. At the end of this day, as we will set out soon to fulfill our noble dreams as the hope of tomorrow. We have to bear in mind that we carry upon our shoulders the responsibility of guiding our country's youth in the straight line and righteous path of change that is possible for everyone. It is easy to forget what I just said here. It is easy to forget high school life. It is easy to forget the memories and their faces. But that burden, that honor of transforming our lives through transforming our society will never be erased, no matter how much we run away from it. It is a good be beginning that we, as graduates, are an answer to societal change, even if, as we go out there and chase our dreams. On behalf of my fellow graduates, I would like to congratulate all of us for our limitless efforts our families for, for their sacrifices, and of course, our teachers for their dedication to excellence. I would also like to express my heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to the people who have helped in bringing us all here today. And above all, to our Almighty Father for His undying love, guidance, and intervention. Thank you, and God bless us all. Thank you, Mr. Rock. We'll now listen to our grade 6 valedictorian.